Hello, and thank you for listening to the Skate Filet Podcast, the best skateboard podcast in the world. Today is Wednesday, April 6, 2016. Hello, everyone. I'm your host, Andrew James Arnold with JunkieMonkeys.com. Joining me, as always, is Grant Fierro, Michael Medina, and sometimes Sebastian Crown. He's with us today. We got a lot of shit to talk about and a lot of fun shit. We'll get down through the list here. I just got to find the list. And the list states... Uh, Guy Mariano turned 40. Dane, who is Dane? Dane Vaughn. Dane Vaughn. Oh, Dane Vaughn off Supra. Trent McClung and Diego Nahara got welcome to Primitive. Ben Fisher, pro for stereo. Robbie Brocco is now pro for real. Juan Switch Front 360. Nose Manual, half cab out at West LA Courthouse. Fountain, it's so good it deserves a topic. Zon Route wins Phoenix Am. Miles Silvis, it, uh, real. It was riding a real skateboard, but denies being on wheel. We will talk about that more later. Barracks push to confirm. Miles Silvis is also confirmed at the same time. Robbie Brockle's greatest hits of Barracks. King of the Road is going to hit TV screens. New Ashad part. Uh, we'll talk to Grant about that because he can't shut the fuck up. Diego Nahara banging. EA Skate 4 coming early 2017. Is it? I'll talk about that later because that sounds <laughs> false. A Baker, a Baker minute. So a minute of Baker footage is on the Barracks. Chase Webb, VX1000, VX part, VX2000, 1000, doesn't matter. They both suck. Eli Reed, Becky, Becky Factory, board brand, but there is there much to say? I don't know. That was, <laughs> that was Grant's notes there. That was dumb. Illegal, <laughs> citizen, illegal Citizenization, Double Rock, Jamie Foy. We just talked about this. This just get the Insta feed. Stupid and state states Grant's high school rail. And... We're we'll talking about the first look with Chris Cole and Tori Pudwell because what he said was hilarious. Let's get started with, I think, because I want to abrupt this, EA Skate coming early 2017. What I just read was your notes, Grant. Is that confirmed? Is that true? It was just that screenshot that I sent you. Like They tweeted saying that it's coming out then, but then they deleted the wait, tweet. Wait, Sebastian, there's something behind you. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> but then they... <laughs> They deleted their tweet like immediately after. So, it, I mean, it's probably fake. Okay, the tweet that he's talking about is Gary Rogers retweeted a tweet. And it's fake. It's fake. It has to be fake. It's fake as fuck. Do you know what, <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I saw, the, I saw the screenshot. But, I mean, since you're wearing a gaming hat, I'm going to feel like I'm going to trust your opinion on this, maybe. Because you get the little inside knowledge or something. <laughs> The reason it's fake is because no <laughs> video game developer is going to – because they haven't announced the game. It's not confirmed or nothing. So they're going to say some some kid – it all started with gentleman asking. I imagine he's a kid. Is Skate 4 coming out? And then the tweet said, after, after constant social media bombardment, we have decided to start work – start to work on it and the release date will probably be early 2017. You believe it? The way they worded it was not it didn't sound professional. Regardless of professional because video game nerds they're they're not professional. They play video games and jerk off. These guys are failing. This is they we have decided to start work on it and release yeah. date will probably be no. Wasn't there like wasn't there confirmation? Huh? Wasn't there confirmation that, like, the studio that makes it isn't, like, completely never going to do it again or something or another? I never heard about I don't know that much about this topic, though. Me neither. I just remember hearing, like, no, there's not going to be a Skate 4 or some shit. Who knows? I don't know. That'd be cool if there was. I don't know. I don't even own a fucking gaming system at this point. Yeah, me neither. Do you play games? That's one. Do you Skate play one. games, Sebastian? Yeah, Skate 1 was so sick. Do you remember the intro? I not much anymore, but when I played skate, I would play. But you couldn't get off your board. That yeah, was that was kind of nice. Skate but there was one. P Rod was in, it, and I always thought that was super sick. Oh, I bet Drew just loved that. No, I didn't. I didn't really care about Paul when he was on. <laughs> <laughs> Grant's a fucking idiot. <laughs> Do you remember that uh, in Skate Two, fucking Reynolds was voiced by Shane Hale? Ohio. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was he really? Yeah. What? I mean, he could yeah, do it. It's it's just Shane's voice, but it's Reynolds' character. How much money do you think Reda made from voicing all of them? I don't know. He was in all of them, right? Hopefully a lot. 
Because yeah. Retta's sick. Yeah, Retta is sick. Please. Who's got the phone problem right now? Hey, did you find Wi-Fi? Oh, oh my god. It's a possible guess. I said, all right, well, I'm going to take over. I don't know why, because this okay. is my podcast. Right. Well, we'll get to <laughs> the next topic. All right. Guy Mariano turned Drew, don't talk. This is my podcast. Um, this <laughs> this past week, Guy Mariano turned 40. <laughs> <laughs> we both... Oh, my. Drew dipped out and called you in. I know. That's so sick. All right. Well, I'm going to tell Drew to take my spot or something. No, but actually being serious now. Hey, did you see Guy Marano, his, uh like he turned 40 and he had his, that birthday on the bear, on the on Thrasher? Asian chick behind Sebastian? Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> God damn. Cortez, I know you're psyched on it. Hey, but did anyone see that? that? I didn't say anything, but I noticed it. Ooh. Did anyone watch that video or no? I feel like, dude, like pushing 40 nowadays is just kind of like it, it happens, man. Like the, it, we've reached that peak where like 40 doesn't really mean that much anymore. The look video at fucking, tight, though. No, absolutely. It's so sick. But I'm just saying, like, look at Reynolds and look at Ellington. They're still jumping down big ass shit. And they're what almost one's 39 and one is 40 or something like that. Or we did the math already, 38 and 39 or something. Yeah, one's older, one year is one year older than the other one, I believe. That's true. I mean it's crazy. That is arguably by Mariano, like he's still probably at his best. Like yeah. that back nose. Yeah. Uh the one nose one two seventy he did at the ender for the A party. Ridiculous. Yeah. I think there was more guy footage than there was Abe stuff. There was. Yeah, definitely I mean, was. Every day. Like, he just doesn't stop. So, what do you think's going on with that, Sebastian? I haven't really talked to you about the whole FA guy stuff. FA, I think they're going to hold off on it a little bit, but it seems like they're going to have a, a few more additions to the team because they're going to probably try and put out a promo. If they're not, I don't see why they would. Wait, so you right. think Guy and Costner are both going to FA, Sebastian? Awesome necessarily, but I think there's a good chance that Guy will, and oh. I feel like they're going to ask other people. What about their interview where, heard, where Guy said he's going to do a brand with Costin? Oh, he that's did? That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah but Brad. then there's also the Jimmy Britches thing that's kind of yeah, confusing. Yeah, but Guy said, and the, the guy whole, like, him and Abe butt buddy shit is like, I, I don't understand. Like, they're the best guy, homies. Just go guy, where your homies guy, are, man. It makes sense. Guy confirmed <laughs> the thing about him and Costin starting a brand after the whole Jimmy Britches thing, like way after. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, so, like fucking, like Carl said, they said they were starting stove as well, and that doesn't mean true, a fucking but, thing, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it just seems like the whole stove thing kind of died, so I don't think that's, there's too much, like, I mean, stove on. was just a joke. Even I feel like they should have just, just, just took off with stove, because if that was the brand that they were going to do, then they already had the little marketing campaign behind it without even trying. Because I don't think there was much behind that name. It was just mostly costing guys starting a company. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, think I feel like, like I'm sorry. What? I think there's just like there needs to be a little bit more time because I mean, still there's still such a new company, like board company, technically that they're still trying to figure out like exactly who's on. Because hockey was like Donovan and John Fitzgerald. That's about it. Yeah, is like, that it? That's the only ones that they've actually like officially added, right? Yeah, that's like, interesting. Those, those have been the only people on that team since I started writing for you guys, like from back in the site. So it's been two years or a year and a half. Whatever they haven't added anybody. Yeah, good point. John Fitzgerald is pro or no? They're both pro. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. No. Hey Ben K. Oh yeah, yeah Ben K is over there. Ben K. One person in the last year and a half. Yeah. Fucking right. Ben K, man, that dude is amazing. He's honestly so, style wise, he he might be my favorite one out of that whole camp. Yeah. Ben, I'm a big Ben K fan for sure. He really Donovan as well, dude. Donovan, fucking, oh man. Dude, what about Ben's switch lip at third and army? Awesome. So gnarly. Yeah, he's so good. That's right. I did into the fountain of Kool-Aid. I fucking that was so that was cool. So that was so fucking cool. Dane Vaughn off Supra, is that surprising to anyone? No, I didn't even was Supra like Everybody fully back in him? Supra. Nobody cares about Supra. They yeah, got everyone's the leaving. Blues, them, man. Man. They got the that corporate really blues over me. there. Nope. Everyone's leaving. You can tell they that something happened when they got bought out or whatever, like a few months or whatever that fuck it was ago. Yeah, Greco is staying. I, I I wouldn't doubt that, but because they're back the fuck out of Greco, they gave him a shoe and they didn't. They rarely give people shoes. Who they yeah. give TK Muska and Muska said I don't even give a fuck about skateboarding, making skateboarding shoes, basically. 
Uh, who, yeah, I never really noticed they don't have that many pro models. No, they never really did. Like they had the TK, TK. They took the fucking TK off. Kept calling it the other, like the name of the shoe or whatever. They yeah. and then they just. I mean, the Musk Musk goes straight up said he's not making shoes for skaters anymore. Yeah. And Antoine did. Oh, and Antoine. Sorry. Yeah, you're. Right. And then they and as soon as and, and as soon, oh, yeah, you're absolutely right. But Those not. Fucking, there's still not. A, there's still not a ton for a yeah. whole shoe brand. You're right, though. I did forget about the lizard ones. The lizard ones didn't do well, right? Or they gave him another one or something? He's had a couple. Okay. Probably two or three, I would say. Yeah, we didn't even get we we held uh we had Super in my shop for a while and we didn't even get that shoe because we were just like, dude, this no one's gonna buy this fucking thing. <laughs> That's funny. Um Drew, I know you're psyched on this. Primitive came through with some announcements this week. Jesus dude. Christ, dude. Speak up, Drew. Whatever happened in skateboarding. I'll go on the Christ, right here man. because this is what I tweeted. One of the announcements was that they added Trent McClung and the already much anticipated Diego Nehera to the team. I'll tell you right now. Right now Spanish. Primitive has, I'll go on the record, has the best team in skateboarding. Hands false, down. False, no, I false, disagree false, with that. Hands down. Boot them. Boot them. I don't give I a fuck. Don't guys. I, I'm not hating. I, I pick, hate. yo, I pick flip. I pick flip. Uh, I don't youngest, even pick one. Young as fuck, it. skates everything. Best, best team in skateboarding. Baker is better. Baker is a better team. Real. No. Okay, you can. Dude, you don't think Baker is a better team? team? Is so deep. No, Primitive is a better team than Baker, man. They're Dude, younger. Baker is so buck. They go. Riley, Figgy. Alien workout. Well, yeah, what, I, what, I, what I just said was subjective. I want to stick to the topic. Yeah. Whatever your opinion is, which is false, by the way, because Primitive is the best. Thank you. <laughs> Diego Nahara, you called it the Nolly Trey flip at the end. Yeah. Santa Monica. Two push. First go. First go, two push. Who the fuck does that? He almost took that one lady out. Jesus too. Christ, man. Those goddamn, those fucking gazelle legs must be powerful as shit for him to two push a triple set. I understand the run up is sort of downhill, but fuck, dude. You, you know, you out, you see a lot in skateboarding is uh, is the uh, is the nolly, no, the fakey. the fakey half cap 360 flip. What do they call that? Half cap, uh, half cap big flip. Yeah, that's oh. easy. I've never seen a Nolly. Nolly did never Nolly? Seen, yeah, you don't see him as often at all. Diego did it, where it's really high as fuck, and like you said, it, it was like through his legs. legs. Yeah, it was like through his legs, man. Yeah, that was weird. Like yeah, almost alley oop, like he like traveled that. the other direction. You know, I got in, I got in trouble at work for watching that fucking welcome video. Oh yeah, what yeah. happened? They're like, you gotta stop watching videos on your phone. And I was like, it's the first fucking time. You know, I had to. It was just some shit. Dude, you got to stick to that. Yo, on, some sh- on some serious shit, man, I had no idea that's where Trent McClung was going to end up. I, oh, had, I, I was completely that, surprised. That, was, that, that didn't shock me. Discussion. That was a very huge, huge It change. did they, shock they me. Really? They hit that one yeah. real well. They, 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 did it, they did hide it well. I'm not saying it wasn't, but I kind of – I had seen – I remember I had possibly have mentioned this on a lot of podcasts ago because he was skating with peacock a lot and i mentioned it around that time when he was a peacock like daily i think I, but that that the adidas connection was made yeah that's true as well but uh so, it was wait, so it didn't, it didn't shock me but obviously i mean everyone knew diego because he's been yeah. super public about it fucking diego he's been going on signings for like a year <laughs> should he's, be pro. Dude, he's crazy. He should be pro. I thought he was going to go straight from the streets to the league when Mike said that we're going to have big news, bigger than you think, big, big, big. And then obviously he meant Trent, Trent McClung. Moose, that's an interesting topic. Moose, yeah, what, especially because Mike said he was still hooking up with, hooking him up with boards. Yeah, I saw too. a photo the other day and he did it primitive. Yeah. He's been getting boards for a while, dude. Dude, yeah. like, a, like a year, right? Probably yeah, like a year. More. I'd yeah, more. I agree. Yeah, I mean, fuck, dude. The McClung uh-huh. thing was a huge addition for them. My laptop. Dude, he's really, really good. He, yeah, he no just, shit. He just but, got off Element. One of my homies was like, "Yeah, he really likes wax too." <laughs> hey, wax? any of you, any oh, you smoking think? wax? No, no, wax. Like he waxes his ledges a shit ton. Oh, I bet the way he sits on those front. Yeah, rooms. he's just chilling, and all of his all his grinds and like long grinds and slides, he's just. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, the kickflip front crook nolly backside heel out. Like, so, what? So, who's like, their official AMs at this point? Those two and then um, uh, Brian Peacock? 
Brian Keacock's bro. Yeah, but no, they, his board doesn't go on sale yet. They just yeah, said he's, he's gonna out. go bro. Yeah. But his board Don't you hate out. that? How boring. How like you, that's so lame, dude. Like, I'll guarantee yeah, I don't know what he is. But other than that, Jeez. that's it, right? Yeah. yeah. Sure well, now, because we, we, we talked to him. Remember, Robert said he wasn't fully on yet, so I'm sure, you know, that's going to be coming up soon because they seem to really be backing him. Well, he said, he said it'll be a while. Yeah, that's what he said on Twitter. I saw that. Oh, really? He said, I have a lot of work to do. I mean, that just means he could put out a part and get out. That's true. Ben Fusher turned pro for stereo skateboards. Dude. Th- I, okay. What about distribution is stereo through? It was syndrome. I don't know. Yeah, I knew that too. Okay, that's what I thought. So, no, but the weird thing about this was like, I I just came across Ben Fisher on Instagram that day and just clicked on his account. And then I saw like, oh, he had a pro board. And it was posted like a day or two before I even saw it. And like, I saw no posts about this at yeah, all. Yeah, Ben Fisher got no love, dude. Like, did Diego, you guys know? Diego, Diego took know. over the headlines. Did you guys know that that even happened? I don't know who Ben Fisher is. He's oh, really? Right, man. Nope. He was he's still really repping Pumas, guys. too. Isn't that, I was like, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. isn't that isn't that Schmatty kid? Like, dude's still fucking rocking Pumas, nah, too? Schmatty, I don't think he is. No? Unless he just has leftovers, but, like, Ben still yeah, repping it, like, on the tag, on the, you know, like. God damn, really? Everything, yeah. Damn. But, I mean, he kills it. it, it dude, it took a while for him to go pro. Like they should have done it earlier, maybe. I don't know. He kills it for sure. He was in two up the first year on the Barrett. I love those two up things, man. Those are rad. You on the program? If that's still a thing, I mean, who knows? What, Joey know. basically said it's not. Yeah, that's a weird deal right there. It's a stupid company, in my opinion, man. They, they tried to, like, put their feet in skateboarding, but not all the way. Yeah. That's yeah, lame. Do it. That's yeah. lame to me. If you're going to try to market, like, you know, diverse, diversify your marketing strategy, then go all the way in, man. Yeah. Look at, look, at what it, look at what it's done with Nike and Adidas. We've accepted them fully. Even New Balance, I feel, is, like, slowly. Yeah, New Balance is, yeah. It doesn't bother me. Okay. Yeah. Can we talk about Robbie Brock going pro? Jesus Christ. Well, I'm, I still want, I feel like that I, I don't want to just rush through the topic with Ben Fisher because I don't know who he is. So I'm, right now I'm watching his footage from 2013 and uh, stereo, stereo, uh, the stereo, what is it? Stereo Sound Volume 1 on the Ride Channel. Have you watched any of his other footage, Grant? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen his street footage before. I don't remember the part you're talking about, but. Yeah, I agree. Get Carlos in here to talk about damn man. That's Phoenix a Am. Th- that's a shame that uh, that we didn't talk much about Ben Fisher. He shreds, dude. I mean, it just sucks. I, I I kind of feel bad for I him. I mean, like, stereo no stereo public. didn't seem to fucking want to put it out there very much. I mean, I, mean, how, I didn't know until dude, Grant but, told me. Yeah, but who even is stereo? You know, like it's stereo. I don't know. Are what does they, that mean? What does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? I'm okay. Well, sorry. Do, do they have a big following right now? I I I don't know anyone that skates their boards or is like Jordan Hoffman. Right? Yeah, Jordan. But I mean, I'm not saying like I'm not hating on the brand. I'm hating on the team. I'm just saying like I don't know if they have a lot of people that are psyched oh, on what yeah. they're doing at the moment and are like really oh stereo stereo. You know, like yeah. You know, they, but I mean, that's it's pro. all that's all you know opinion, so to speak, because. Yeah, you guys live in San Diego. Yeah, it, yeah, could be, right. it could be super popping there, and then out here, I could fucking never have heard of it, kind of thing, you know. But I feel like if it was going big anywhere, it should be here. Jordan, that's Hoffman a good point. In our city, very Syndrome, good point. Syndrome is in San Diego County. I don't know. I just I don't whoever feel knows like, what's going on with that. I say we say this every week, but really, I remember. I just remember like Tommy Flynn getting backed by them real hard. He's so good. Oh, he's amazing. But I just remember like him getting supported by Serio really like like thoroughly as opposed to this guy just like getting aboard and no one really talking about it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a, strange. It's I don't a know. Weird situation definitely. I agree. Do you know do you know who he writes for, Mr. Fisher? Stereo. That's it. Maybe Small <laughs> Wheels or Autobahn, one of those, like one of those companies. Apparently he writes for Tensor. Yeah, that, I mean, 
I so does I Manny and TJ Rogers. Wait, what wheel brand is he on? Was I wrong? It was, I feel like it's one of those. <laughs> I'm not familiar with with the wheel brand here. Wayward wheels. What is that? I'll, I'll just ask you one more question. Uh, uh, yeah, you're right. Small wheels, Puma, stereo, oh, yeah. active. Who's one of your active? Yeah, he's, oh, he's hey. on Kayton. He's on Kayton. It's like a surf clothing brand, and I think he's the only skateboarder on them. Drew's friend Keaton? No, almost, but K A T I N. It's super random. Like, everyone on, likes Keaton. On the light bearings. Yeah, I think, I mean, Puma, that's an easy Joey Connect. That's probably how he what got shit. Is, is this a joke? Hill Brews? What is that? Is that a company, or is he always yeah, getting it's a clothing brand. Yeah. Hill Brews has been around for like a while. Mm -hmm. That's been around for quite a while, Drew. No idea. I haven't heard about them in a little while. Uh, oh, the last question I wanted to ask you was, do you know, uh, do you know what video part that he writes for? I mean, uh, have you seen him as video parts previously? Anything stick out to you that stuck that burned in your brain forever? Honestly, no. I think I've seen a part of him, maybe, but nothing that I can't think of. This is what his ender was, or this clip. I I remember two up because that's the most recent big thing I saw out of him. Even though that's kind of oldish at this point. So we'll go ahead and move on. We'll let you take the forefront of this since you were, since I interrupted you. You're going to talk about Robbie Brock will turn pro for real. The way that they turned him pro is he was at Phoenix Am, and then they real team disqualified him <laughs> at Phoenix Am because they turned him pro. He was going to do his run. They said, wait, wait, cut the music, cut the music. Ah, everyone got bar bars him with, with posters and boards. He yeah. can't even do shit. He's <laughs> With this, with this, <laughs> stuck there in this flash mob trying to he's like man i've been working all day on this fucking run these fuckers are in my i know he did, I guarantee he did not give a shit oh man drew what about the poster you got you said fuck a phoenix am I got oh yeah i deleted it you can oh, i'm gonna show you guys so uh i told grant that jim sent me a poster of robbie's of robbie turning pro and then grant said no you didn't yeah, I knew about that too, honestly. Uh, and look what, it? Yeah. look what Drew sent me. <laughs> That's the poster that Jim sent me. He mailed it to me. <laughs> I started dying. It was so funny. Grant, go ahead and uh, share your thoughts on the Brockel Pro PXM. I mean, the way they did it, like the if you watch the video, it looks sick. And I'm sure it was cool to be there in person and funny for Robbie. I did like, I always like when they do this, is that his parents were there. I always think that's sick. It's because Real's the fucking best, man. Oh, they, they did that with they Davis, They don't put your board out at agenda a fucking then, year before you turn pro. Then, uh, if you watch when Davis turns pro, his parents are there. It's pretty sick. That's what about so sick. Kyle Walker? Kyle, yeah, in the, the way band. he went pro was so sick. Yeah. Um, but, I'll yeah, kill Robbie it, kills it, dude. I hope I, – I was really happy because I feel like this brought – like, at least for me, this is, again, like an opinion type of thing. Like, a lot of the people I skate with had maybe heard his name because he's on Real, and that's obviously a huge company that most people know about or, like, see Legendary. their stuff. Um, but they didn't know much about his skating. And so his name being out there and the barracks posting that, like, what would they call it? Like, Greatest Hits, Robbie Brock or whatever. Like, if you watch yeah, yeah. Oh, what? You can't Two freeze grand. that. Two grand. It is incredible. And, like, if you watch – yeah, Am I yeah. come on, hear... La Jolla Wi-Fi. What the fuck? Last thing that you said was if you watch his greatest hits. Yeah, well, it's crazy. It's insane. And if you watch real through and through, yeah. just the end of that video is probably it's super, super underappreciated and like truly bums me out that like if like let's say Tori Puddle, because that's someone that I feel like would do is that trick. I've seen do that trick. Like, if he did that in the Plan B video or something, like, that would go insane but on Instagram. But because it's Robbie. And, and a, a back 360 big flip or whatever you want what to you call, it? call that is, I guess, the Jesus 360 Christ. big flip, right? Did yeah. a big flip and kept spinning. Like, that's in, that yeah, one of those, like, ridiculous. That, that's one of those, like, four blocks. Gazelle, thing Blizzard, Stink. Yeah, one of those <laughs> terrible <laughs> names, probably. But hey, is, right. is Robbie we'll Brocko from it, Phoenix? From He's from Arizona. Carlos, send me up. So what city is he from? Yeah, so Phoenix. Sick. Hey. So yeah, yeah. Oh, he was I, on oh this is what I was going to bring up. Do you guys, did board. you guys happen to see the top layer of his board? No. 
Were, and did you, oh, did you happen to catch J Jake Donnelly's? What, I All of them are like, fuck yeah, turn this guy pro, he's amazing, Robbie pro, Robbie pro. And he's just like, <laughs> fuck that dude. <laughs> 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 there were, Davis had one too, but yeah, the was covered. the photo, you can yeah. only see Davis's name. Dude, yeah, I wanted to that. That's man. sick though. That's a really Dude, cool real does, Remember the one like with uh, with Bobby Warris and Ashado? Dude, I oh, love Bobby these and top shoot graphics, the man. They should just put those at the bottom. I just, I, yeah. yeah, I want a graphic of that photo Thank of Ashad and Bobby. That's that, so sick. That would be dope, Mike. Because this happened at Phoenix Am. I want to ask this question. I'm not transitioning, but it is a slight transition. Because this happened at Phoenix Am. Zion Wright won Phoenix Am. Now, do you think if Brock will play... Speaking of real. Do you, do, you, do you think if... What? I said speaking of real. Sorry. Well, do you think if Brock wasn't disqualified, do you think Brock would have took it? It's po I mean, it's possible. I would have said, was shredding, I swear, man. like, yeah, you could say I'm lying, but that's, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't need lying. credit. I don't care. But I, my honest pick was for Zion Wright to win. What a liar. I, we just, yeah, see, yeah. Dre. No, uh, so uh, I don't know. I had my money on told me off dude. the record that he said, fuck, we should have did our Phoenix and predictions because I wanted Zion, I, I would have said Zion Wright, and then he won. And I'm looking at the fucking feed. I'm like, Grant's a bitch. No, he's, he's just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I mean, we weren't there. It would be cool to see like how they're doing in practice. But dude, Zion, his run though, he was doing quick transfer down the handrail, like popping out early. That's so. And the front three on that like hip that you had to like gap over. He's got hell of board control, man. That was an interesting obstacle. Board control is very strong. I was disappointed when I was watching I the recap of uh, Phoenix Sam. I didn't see any Alexis Ramirez footage. Yeah. Is he there? Damn, yeah, I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I didn't see any of this either. Yeah. Yeah, he was there. He just didn't do too well, I guess. Uh, for, for the players are hating. Was uh That's how dude contests go like that. Like there's so many people at those contests. So many. It's like a, almost two hundred people enter it. It's like, oh my how do you even skate the course? Well, they do it like a jam? Uh was it is the qualifying a jam or are they both rounds, Carlos? Three people jams for qualifying. Okay, that's not that bad. No, that's like that's like no, the, but I mean practice, uh, that, practice. that cup. What is that? Yeah, I was gonna say Tampa is oh, like fucked yeah. up. The oh, diamond man. cup thing, Kimberly. Yeah, but I'm just saying practice, like getting your run together. Like, okay, well, there's a person in front of me and behind me, so if I miss my trick, they're gonna get pissed, and <laughs> someone's gonna slam. <laughs> it's like I would get like anxiety. Like that's so crazy. I want to talk about. Grant Fierro's finest hour. Oh, oh last oh. week. I hope you all saw it. And if you didn't, yeah, fuck that dude, Carlo. <laughs> if you didn't see it, it is live on the YouTube channel. Drew's Days 2. Grant, talk to me about the filming process for this video. Filming yeah, process? how long how long have you been how long have you been filming for? I think the first clip I got was in October. So what is that, like six months? Six months of filming. Yeah, and I mean, I don't – I should get a skate most days of the week, but it's hard to get like a legit street skate sesh super often because I have school for like seven hours a day. Um, but, yeah, I mean, just me and my friends have a camera, so some, some of the filming might be shaky, but when I'm out with the legit filmer, the filming's yeah pretty Drew, good. Drew, what clips did you film? I filmed his Wally over the, the one that's shrieking up to him. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I filmed his line where the Seba Walker line. He does the, the you little. Know you know what I'm talking about? Did that do it for you? The slappy and then yeah, that thing. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah, that one um, was nice. Is that interesting? Hey, thanks for thanks for putting my clips in there. By the way, I believe I filmed another sure. another line of his but it could be wrong yeah i think you did too but i don't remember well drew filmed like so that impossible i did from the bump into the street like over that gap drew was there the first day i tried that and i stuck like i landed on like 20 of these things and i couldn't roll away and we got kicked out by the because it's like the runway is like a part like kind of like a driveway to these apartments and th this lady had to take her nap at like 
1 p.m. when I was trying this, so we had to dip. So I had to come back. But, yeah, I think that happened to something else, too. He just filmed me, like, sticking it. Have you, uh, were you arrested at all while filming this video part? Was I yeah, arrested? You're kicked, no. You know, you're getting kicked out and being, you know, like, nah. I, 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 I mean, lots of kickouts, but definitely not that. Okay. What's your, what, the what's your personal favorite? Huh? Yeah. Trick? Oh, the Ender. That's like my favorite thing I've ever done on a skateboard. How long did it take you to film that? I think around an hour, maybe Who a little bit. Alex Aguirre. That was the first day. That was the first You're day you there. met him, right? Yeah, it was my first time meeting Alex. I was so psyched he was down to film that. And your response, your response was, to the Ender has been overwhelming, right? Dude, I wasn't expecting people to be like that psyched on the part or the Ender. Like, I don't know. It was hard for me. Like, that's been done. Like a dude on Death Wish, Eric Valdez. Um, did it nollie flip out before I even went to the court. Is Eric Feldus the one that fake he healed but, over a picnic table on flat? Okay. No, My no, bad. different dude. The one, the yeah, one that no, 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 was for yeah. the Hammer House? How's that? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I was talking about. about. I just wasn't sure if it was the same person. It took around an hour. It was the hardest thing about that for me. Like, I wonder if, I would like to ask Eric if he had the similar problem, actually. Like, because that thing's pretty tall to wally up in the first place. It's hard to put your energy to Wally that high and keep speed to go all because that stage is no, it's long as like, fuck. You have to dude. hold your manual. Yeah, you have to hold your manual for a while. So to Wally up it and land on your nose and not run out of speed like halfway was so hard. So then, like, I was like, dude, I guess I have to go faster than I'm like, I'm kind of uncomfortable going this fast and walling up something that tall, you know? But I was like, dude, I mean, I'm, I would be psyched if I got this. So just try it, I guess. And then. One of them worked out, and I was like, I'm like swimming. Yeah, that was so. Stage. Like, give me I the know, end my, of this thing. You know, what my favorite part about it was is the uh, how you fucking slapped your front foot on, dude. Oh, yeah, the Hesher tap. That. <laughs> fucking love that. No, but the weird thing, like I on, like I remember my mindset. Like once I locked into that one, I kind of like that was the first one where I felt like, oh, like I'm on this one. Like I'm still ba barely balancing, like whipping my arms. But I felt like mentally I knew I could hold this one to the end. That's boss. But if you watch where my feet are, that you it's like that's not how you want to nollie off something. So I was like, dude, I'm gonna make it to the end of the <laughs> pad, but I don't know how I'm gonna get out. I don't know how I'm Fuck gonna get out so of this bad. thing. And and that's like why the, that was the only way. Like there's not enough. If you watch my back foot's like all the way at the tail. So there's not enough to really like nollie because you can't I can't move my foot anymore that direction. So it was kind of just like go like that and then slam it down and then it somehow worked out and I was so surprised when I'm I rolled start away. start filming for my part now. That shit inspired me. <laughs> I'm psyched. Yeah, I want a tray flip board. manual out of Drew for mine. Oh, when, uh, I'll do my best. Before you, before the video part dropped, there was a day before you had just gotten back a day or two ago from San Francisco. Talk to us about your experience with San Francisco. San Francisco was sick. I got to skate a decent amount, not a, a ton because it wasn't a skate trip. It was like a family thing, but it was super fun. I got to skate um, the Waller Street ledges, which most people would at least recognize. Like you've all seen them, um, which is super cool spot. It's like public cool. to skate there, kind of like the Very LA cool. Courthouse. Yeah, so it's just like kind of like DIY spot because things will come and go and it's always changing and like super mellow, fun spot. Um, so I skated there. A few other spots like around that weren't necessarily famous, but I did see you know that that double set that everyone skates now in San Francisco that lands downhill, like T Funk no complied it, Tyson Bowerbank back to the kick flip Rowan. Yeah, I know the T Funk clip. clip. I think you know the Rowan one. Oh, it's then a yeah, then yeah, yeah, Pillar? yeah. Okay, the nollie flip, dude. I went to that spot. It's freaking gnarly. Would you, oh would you ever God. think about nollying it? Dude, I, I don't think I I, I no. can't skate it. It's like the landing – the landing is already gnarly because it's in a fat hill. But the way the runway works, it's hard to explain because it's like a hill obviously going here, so you land a hill bomb. But it's also – sidewalk, this makes sense, is slanted this way too. So You know what I mean? Like you're coming at it like that kind of. So where you're bored – and then there creates another stair because it's like a double hill. They're going two different ways. So it's like it's kind of a thin entrance. It, it, it would look so sketchy. Like it looks gnarly on camera, but – 
It is insane. In Fuck yeah. And I saw that thing that the one of the famous Gerber hill bombs that he hasn't oh, had yeah. before. I saw that hill was insane. He doesn't, um, he doesn't it was stop, fun to right? He just Chris keeps going. Around. I think he slams eventually. <laughs> like, he has so much speed at the bottom. Doesn't he? Which he one? Is it the one from the anti-hero video? It's not the one with the kids crossing oh, the street. Okay. It's another it's one. It's not the one where he has the orange act. jacket on. I don't think it could be. I'll, yeah, I'll send you a picture of it. Oh, one other thing was I showed up to Soma Park, which is like one of the newer parks up there. It's under a bridge. And um, right as I get there, Tony Hawk, Steve Cavallero, and the whole Birdhouse team were getting into the van, like oh, leaving. Oh, man. Um, and Jaws was the last one, like tossing his board in the van, closing the door. And he, we just like made eye contact because he looked up. I was like, oh, what up? How's it going? He's like, oh, just chilling. Just got a sesh, leaving or something like that. Like just mellow, like yeah, quick yeah. small talk because he got into the van. Which but did you see sick, Tony Hawk to in see person? Him. I didn't ah, actually see him with my bummer. eyes. I just know he was ah, in the van. I know Goddamn he Tony fucking Hawk, man. Yeah. But it was sick just to see that and then skate that park was fun. Damn. That sounds so sick. Cool. The Birdhouse yeah, team was, was there too? Work. Yeah, all of them, but they were all in the oh, van. Like, Jaws cool. was the last one getting in. Yeah. So I, they, like, literally left as I got there, but I wasn't too mm -hmm. bummed. It was cool. And that that's all that you saw out there? You didn't see? Uh, I mean, you, you, you met with your boy Damon, right? You went to Deluxe? Yeah, I stopped by the warehouse, Deluxe Warehouse, which was super cool. I got to – it was just cool to see, like, the, what the people do there. And obviously, like, they're different jobs. Because, like, I've probably said this on here, like, 10,000 times. But, like, I, I want, like, a dream of working in the skate industry. Like, like what I want to do. So it was, like, sick to see, like, oh, these are the different job positions and what they do. And, like, this is all the product that they're testing or looking at in different shapes. And, like, all of that stuff it was really sick to see in person. And uh, just got to check it all out. And it was crazy to see, like, how much product there was in that building. It was pretty gnarly. Um, and also yeah, the amount of trucks, right? You're telling me about the truck. Yeah, like there was just like where the the trucks are made there, are like on the same block, like you can, it's connected. Um, and so it was crazy. Like you see, like you can just open the door. You can't like walk in or whatever because there's freaking metal flying around. You know, like it's not not the safest place to be in. But I got to see them like working on the trucks and like how many trucks they make in there is very incredible. cool. Yeah, very okay, cool. we'll, we'll go ahead and get back to the topic list. I just want to bring up your finest hour, talk about your trip. Thank you. And uh, I hope everyone liked the video part. It was uh, it was fun to be a part of. Me and Mike have small cameos in it. I couldn't believe you put my clips in there, dude. It worked out, brother. <laughs> hey, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll transition to uh, – we'll go back because we mentioned Robbie Brockle, uh, his greatest hits. I haven't witnessed this. Mike, have you witnessed the footage from yeah. Robbie Brockle? Yeah. Yeah, dude, you should definitely take it. Take a look at that. It's fucking awesome, dude. He shreds. It's I, like you know, it's it's I, almost I, like a, a of like a. It's like I understand how deep the real team is and how like deserving a lot of those dudes are to go pro and everything. But right. fucking, hey, man, Robbie's like I feel like he should have been pro already. Kind of feeling. Okay. Yeah. Not hating, not hating dude, on the lux because they know what they're fucking doing. Clearly. <laughs> Just saying, dude. Robbie Brocko is fucking very good <laughs> at skateboarding. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Did he have? Did he dude, have a part exactly. in the since day one video? I don't know. Did he? I don't think so. I I've never heard. I, I'm honestly not I'm sure. sure. So I'm not going to front like I did. Like I, I never heard of Robbie Brocko ever, nope. dude. Oh man, I've heard. Of I feel like Brock, honestly, watch I feel like the only Brock that I know. Justin Brock. Justin Brock. That's it. That guy's amazing. Dude, yeah, no, Brock will, there's no way to me Brock was in since day one. I feel like I would have to remember that. Um, no, but Mike, his back three on that bump um, over the fat guy. That's my favorite, probably my favorite clip of him so far. Oh, my yeah. gosh. And then there was that whole video. Did you the see the way like he, he did the last the turn? It's like, meow. Yep. So, yeah, it's so good. Dude. That was insane. Yeah, I mean, dude, real knows what they're fucking doing, man. Of course. Wait, keeping it on this whole deluxe train, can we just go to the, the new Johnny Wilson video that had a shot in it? You're so hyped on a shot. I love it, dude. I love it. I'm, dude, no, that I'm whole happy. video. My, I mean, Johnny Wilson always yeah, a good video. Yeah, for sure. 
So did you guys see that or no? No. No? Yeah, Bye. fuck yeah. yeah. Oh, you saw it? Dude, what do mean, you think? I mean, it's just like, can we just give a shot skater of the year every year if he's just going to keep doing this? Like, well, come like on, how, man. This dude, he's the fucking best. Do you I remember when Wes to... won a few years ago and how it was just it was just fucking undeniable because of how much fun he was having, yeah. how much footage was dropping. It's just like, I feel like this, like, I understand everyone else is killing it. And I've already fucking put my, my, uh, my, my, uh, my bid in, so to speak, with Evan Smith. But a fucking Ashad keeps dropping footage. You can't, you can't deny this guy another Saudi. Yeah. It's literally nearly every week. It's, it's different. It's fucking, yeah, exactly. It's different. It's different shit. And, yep. Yeah, and you don't. Dude, one thing I love about Sean is because, like, as a pro skater, like, not every skater can do it, but, like, as a pro skater, like, I would love, especially because I know, like, they have the ability. Like, you don't know what you're going to get out of them. I know they have the ability to have all mm-hmm. those tricks. And you seriously don't know His what His bag Ashad's is so fucking do. big, dude. Yeah, like, yeah, like, we can list things. Oh, Sean's yeah. good at this. Yeah, like, there is all those. But then there's like you, like, okay. He did a manual tray flip. And I now he's training. And now he's Dunn. like working out his training. I've never seen you see that Insta clip where he did a fucking Dude, Madonna he got invert. The front side bowling. <laughs> he did a, cover, fucking, like, he did a oh fucking Madonna in a pool or some shit. Dude. Who does yeah, that? That's so he's sick. So again, he, yet he'll lip slide a fucking triple set. King yeah, Andrew. it's crazy. But also, I mean, Dude's might amazing. as well give Johnny Wilson credit. That video itself. Is super good and has tons and tons of good foot. Ben K yeah. was in it. I noticed that. Uh, who, who, Alex, Alex Olsen Olsen was in has that it. one, right? Um, I'm trying to remember. I know Spitfire posted about it today and tagged everyone in it. So let me take a look. So I don't completely remember who was in it. Uh, Cyrus Bennett, that dude kills it. He's kids with the quarter snacks, dude. He's on Nike. Quarter snacks. That's um, Sebastian's thing. Dude, they have good. Yeah, names, they do, dude. man. Um, I like their yeah, remix so, dude, videos. Those are sick. so fucking cool. Dude, the Ishan <laughs> remix. The one, the one with fucking – uh, It's the boss. <laughs> hey, pick yeah, he's up like, on I'm, the in, block. I'm in Philly. Like, I'm, I'm in Philly. I'm the block. <laughs> I missed all that. I haven't seen it. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. It's so funny, dude. Yeah, it's super, and like, uh, it's, it's a footage of uh, Rick Ross talking on the phone where it's like you can see the phone is lit up and it's not talking – like it's not – on call mode and shit. On the yeah, call yeah, mode, yeah. yeah. Like, they act like a shot and Rick Ross are on a phone call together. Yeah, it's great. Sick. And then uh, it's fucking... What's the song? It's uh, Meek Mills. Yeah, it's Rick Ross oh, and Meek Mills. Mills. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah that one. Uh, Mal Silvis was running a real board, and then all of Instagram says, Yeah! Cardio real! <laughs> Yeah, That's what they he's say. He's joining the real team, and then what does he say? Miles said no. We've seen uh, we've seen photos of him dude. riding crooked boards too, right? Yeah, yeah, he had one with a crooked dude. But this one is crazy. Well, first of all, it's freaking awesome because it was a Cardio yeah, board. Amazing. That's so sick. Um, it was a red board. Like, the tr- yeah, that would be sick too. No, it was sick. It was a sick back Smith. Um, I don't know what else to say. Like. If he was on real, I feel like that wouldn't have been the way that they were no. going to break the news. Look at the way they break news. You think they're going to do it like that? Yeah. Fuck no. Yeah. <laughs> he drops in at first Street League contest. <laughs> Stop, Miles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but anyway. Nah, yeah, Miles shut it down. I mean, I can get the quote, actually. He just said, like, something along the lines of, um, it's, I mean, it's just a skateboard. Not on the team. Da, da, da. I mean, they make the best shapes, dude. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah, he's probably skating the eight point two five full because I'm never skating. Dude, I'll board. tell you right now, this pizza shape is fucking excellent. I really love like it. it. The sport is very good. That's Man. sick. Oh wait, wait. Well, the miles thing also led us to f- confirm. I think I already knew this, but I don't think we talked about it. That they're doing push two, which I'm psyched on. I, I hope they push. don't release it like with the fucking twelve minutes of footage in front of it again. Just release yeah, the I would fucking say that was part, mistake, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be a little more psyched on if they. It's did like that, we already watched the five episodes that led up to that shit. We don't need the, yeah. that whole thing again. It was, dude, if anything, just do it. Mean, just do already... a quick run through. Yeah, not not like not the twelve minutes of fucking footage that we've already seen, and then the three minute long part. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I wonder. So like, 
I yeah, actually didn't is. see that Miles was uh, confirmed or whatever. Like, how how did that happen? Like, where did you see that? And was there anyone else confirmed? Well, it's the it's the that's why I was hoping we have Corey on this week. I say, what up, Corey? No, but uh, it's the exact post where Miles does that back Smith, and I Miles has posted about it one other time, but we never talked about it. He said. Back in the field with my G, Alan Hannon, hashtag push to at Amazing. barracks. And then he tagged all his Amazing. sponsors. So, yeah, I mean, Miles is in it. That's already a good start. I agree. Line up for push. I agree. I think, I think that to, they, should stick, with with this, they should stick with this young talent. Yeah. Wait, where'd you hear about Felipe, whoever said that? That'd be interesting. I would say, uh, dude, I know the Barracks packs him hard. So yeah, that makes me sense too. Completely. Is it, okay, so Felipe has a shoe with his name on it, but it's not his shoe. It's like a colorway, but they gave him, put his name on it. Dude, I, that is I, so I was fucking so confusing. With DC, yeah, yeah, but I guess there's more info to come. Like, so what happened was it's a shoe. It's on skating, ripped places. And there's at least one colorway that has his. It's name his on full it. name. It says like Felipe but, Gustavo, right? Yeah, yeah on the yeah. back, right? But then apparently, like, they did a release right now, but it's only with one shop, and there's only, like, 30 pairs. It's very and, like, strange. The actual shoe doesn't come out for, like, two months, and I was like, dude, yeah, what? It's very strange is, to me. I don't know. It's too much for me to comprehend. I don't know what's how, how going on. How the fuck does it have your name on it, but it's not a pro model? I don't get that. That one's woof. Goes right over your head. Oh, yeah, this is right. I did see this post. Felipe's in push, too. Oh, amazing. Also. That's already sounds heavy. Thank you for that tag. That's cool. You know what? I you know what? Right. You know, hey, I, just, I, just, I just talk shit about the whole, like, background and, like, stuff, but I really want to see the Felipe background stuff now. What did, what did you hear about Felipe's confirmed? He oh. posted something and had hashtag. Get T-Funk on? Oh, that would be so cool. Who did Damn, I would love that? that one. Damn, you I'm kind of, like, really excited to see who the rest of the people are going to be now. Yeah, who confirmed it? Felipe posted, uh, he said, like, warming up in the streets. It's funny because his warm up is a kickflip crook down like a pretty big rail, <laughs> but he, it said hashtag push too, and I think he maybe tagged the barracks or something. So. Damn, I'm really, I'm like really, He's really curious now. How many were there last time? Last time, I think eight. it was eight. Yeah, Damn, that sounds so eight. sick. If there's only two, there's six more to get released. And they're, I mean, I, I hope they stick with this like younger thing, right? Like, I, I just think that's really sick. What's wrong with the old guys? You want to see Raleigh and Reynolds out there getting pushed? Not really. Well, Riley Hawk would be cool. Riley would be a very cool one. Shane O'Neill, I could definitely see him doing it. Or would you want Shane, Shane, Shane on Australia? Yeah, you're going back yeah, to Australia. I don't, I don't know anything very about Very good point. I don't, I don't know shit about Australia. I don't know. Yeah, because a lot of those dudes, like, at least know some people something about a lot of the backgrounds. For I'd Shane, like to see like, Chima one. I did Chima would be sick. But Kyle Chima Walker, I was thinking that just like Chima's you know, already Kyle done a Chima. fucking epically later though. Yeah, that's true. We already yeah we do know Riley's background, so that's actually a very good point. But there's still it would still be cool it. though like, to see all I that old footage, cool. dude. To see to see and to see the Shep dogs like oh, all his homies man. that he grew like, up with, like young ass Rowan before he was all the way burnt. Yeah, that would be really cool. <laughs> Ocean side. You're on a push too. Get Steven Lawyer on there, dude. Shep Dogs. P Rod? That's too much street skating for him. Right? <laughs> uh, he, um, he, he, has, he has more street credibility than most of the pros out there. Hey, I agree. What does he have, like fucking 12 parts or some shit? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm talking trash, but believe me. That's because you are trash. Next up. That's true, too. Uh, t- t- talk to me um, about you found out uh, King of the Road on t- coming to television. Very cool. Oh, Carlos, the first one to tell very me. Very cool. Send me a photo. But yeah, dude, it's on Vice Land. I'm very glad is, that it's through Vice. Vice Land. What is that? Vice is like a. You know Vice, yeah, you know right? Vice is? They do have yeah, to play Vice. later as well. It's their TV yeah, it's show. Like their, I mean, it's their TV, TV channel. channel that they're trying to push in 2016. I read a lot about this, actually. And it's they're going to. Yeah, they're going to have more shows that are like... Show or do they have their own network now? It's a network. It's going to be like a it's channel. It's a network on Vice Land. Yeah. It's going to be just like, hopefully, I mean, from what from what I've read and the, the shit that like I've, I've uh, I guess, researched on it, so to speak, is like they're going to really try to like aim at a younger demographic, hence the skating, hence the, they have like a food um, a show that like, you know, caters to like a younger sort of crowd kind of thing. It's It's pretty sick, dude. Okay. I'm really backing it, honestly, and I, I also read somewhere that um that it would also be really being 
they bleh, the episodes would also be released through Thrasher as well. So they're not just gonna like yeah oh, yeah. Because I remember episodes. me, I, I talked to Kyle about this, and uh, and he's like, I don't even have cable. I'm like, oh, you're fucking good because they're still gonna be on Thrasher. They're not just gonna they're not just yeah. gonna eliminate these people. You know what I mean? With it. That see that would that would have been fucking so lame if it was only on cable TV. Because I don't back that. You would have seen one a, a Thrasher magazine. You would have seen. I don't back comments. that one bit. That'd be so lame. But the fact that they're still gonna release them online yeah. and on YouTube is. Perfect. That sounds good to me. If this is what we we're waiting for, a TV deal to get done in uh, like a big uh, demographic or dot demographic on a big scale, then that's cool. Then fucking, I'm glad. I'm glad the wait. wait so the wait is worth it. So do you think that all this? Fo- well, I mean, well, we'll go into depth once I explain my question. So all this footage was filmed in 2015. Mm-hmm. Generally, King of the Road comes out before the New Year, so that it goes into the Sodi, like uh, all kinds yeah. of Sodi. So all this footage that's going to be released from 2015, it's being released now in 2016. Oh, shit. So should that, should that footage now affect the 2016 schedule? Interesting. Fuck, fuck yeah. Right. I could counter my own point. I could counter my own point right now and say, well, you never know when all these freaking clips were in a street part were filmed. So mm. what does that matter? But, I mean, you the know? fact that we know that the footage is from, like, we you, are all, like, so you no fully harm aware. Now. I mean, does it does it what would it Drew? bother you, Drew? Yeah, no, I know he was saying that he would, no. What Grant was saying, he was saying no harm, no foul, pretty much. Yeah, I was just gonna ask that same I think question. It's, it's Birdhouse, Chocolate, and there's three, right? Yeah, it's Birdhouse, Chocolate, and something else. I thought. I don't know. Yeah, so they filmed this thing so we, long. Oh yeah, ago. Toy Machine, Toy Machine. You're right. And then Toy Machine is the guest is Forrest, and then. Forrest. Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, I remember that chocolate. was funny. House is with, back with Heath. Yes. Dude, I'm excited to see chocolate can't on fucking it, wait actually. for Heath clubs, dude. Don't lie. You're just ex- don't, you just you just want to see that Jeremy footage, Grant. I think we, I mean, we all don't mind Jeremy footage, dude. You want to see think... him, you want to see him skate naked again. Fuck yeah, get that shit. I want to see Stevie you got, Perez. You got to give him credit Stevie. doing a, a backside lip slide naked. He did do it. But That's so terrifying. Naked. That sounds terrifying. Wait, down a handrail? Yeah, down a handrail. Wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. At night. Dude, I couldn't do one. At close. night, too. Jeez. So next up, let's talk about the... The ones in BD. Drew, did you see Luan's MBD? Oh, you did? You told me. How many times did you rewatch it, dude? My God. Probably twice. Probably twice. Shit, man. I watched it twice. You guys, I love that. I love that you can. You I love that phone? you can hear somebody in the background go, "What the fuck?" I know that's, that's so my sick. favorite part. That that's not like necessarily like a really small mani pad either. Like it's Dude, like a the you know half I mean? cab out. Like it's not like the a half cab out meant nothing to him. Yeah, he <laughs> just kept freaking spinning. He just he just Literally kept whipping his arms around and landed that. that. That's it. you know what I was thinking. Actually, I, I was I just now thought of it. So you know how, how you see him do those switch five forties? Well, he'll just like revert to last yeah. one eighty, kinda. Dude, why? Is, I think you know what he could do is whip one of those five forties into a manual. Watch him do it like next week. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't I even. Like sure I wouldn't could. even be surprised. Yes, I'd be like, "Fuck yeah!" And then manual. back one eighty out. Back one eighty out for he just yeah. did seven twenty. <laughs> On flat ground. <laughs> He's so tight. Yeah, that dude's amazing. He's next level shit. Oh, wait. You know what we should have brought up when we were talking about Diego was his banging. Did you guys I didn't, that? actually. Oh, you missed that one, Drew? No, I saw it. I mean, it was dope shit. Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing that we haven't seen him done before. But he killed it. He, I mean, if you if you're if you're getting filling out the barracks, you're always killing it. Yo, Everybody. I wanted I wanted to bring something up we were talking about That's Diego, accurate. so I'm glad you brought him but his name back up. Uh did you um did you notice that he switched hard flipped over a picnic table, right? Yo, that yeah, that was that was straight up Mike Mo's ender for that X Games real street shit. And he did it with a bump. Mike Moe. He did it bump. with a bump and Diego said, nah. Yeah. Fuck that uh, shit. Well, that- Tory Puddle's ender was a regular. Yeah, you know, you know what? We almost skipped over the game of skate with also Diego makes news. Diego oh, man. beating uh, Timmy Johnson. Chateau. Yeah. Timmy looks nervous as rattled. fuck. I know from I know from a source that he was like stupid nervous, dude. 
You can tell. You can see him Yo, sticking Nolly Hart flip in the next one. He, he, he bailed tricks that like that dude could do with his eyes closed. Like I've seen him do like not like in mid conversation yeah. kind of shit. Yeah, it's just a bummer to see. But the you know you could go to the other side of the coin is that Diego looked more comfortable than I've and like anyone else like, in the competition how? so far. How could you like he? He looked, doesn't give a fuck, dude. Oh, that's why he's riding gold boards. <laughs> Someone's filming me. He's got gold boards. He doesn't he was, give a shit. He was killing it. Yeah, it would be cool to get Kevin Braun mm-hmm. on there. Kevin Braun would do very well, I think. Also, another one of the primitive riders took out one Stephen Lawyer. Oh man. Yeah, but yo, that was yeah, I was gonna say, like, fucking Robert Neal said, it, "Nope, it wasn't even close." Nope, I was just like, "What are you talking about?" Lawyer held it down. He was nervous as fuck too. You could tell. It was a good battle. Yeah, back he held and it forth, down, though. dude. Step dogs. Uh, wait, did he end up getting blanked? But at least no, I don't think he got skunked. I don't think he got skunked. Okay, even if he did, like there was, he was doing tricks and. There, you know, it wasn't. I thought it was cool, man. That's the only battle that's actually been. I'm pretty sure they did like a switch big flip in there. It did go back and forth, but it was one sided. I'll say that. It was the most entertaining battle in my so far. So far, this this nine. You want to say that was the most entertaining one? Yeah, the rest of them have just been like one person looks. They all look so nervous so far. It's like that's the number. That's we could just call this fucking battle of the nerves. I, I, honestly, I'm uh, at this point for what I've seen. Oh, I, I can't wait to see Bobby. You Dukaze. love Bobby, anyway, you guys. We I, have a big Bobby crush. He's so good, but anyway, I think. I mean, I would not be surprised if Diego wins. I'll put it that way. Yeah, I mean, you know, he was thing. he was he was dialed in, man. Yeah. If he if he looks that comfortable every time, I mean, do you remember it, it, to bring it up? Do you remember how comfortable Cody was? He was taking yeah. on like fucking big name industry dudes and didn't give a fuck. So I mean, if Diego has that comfort, then he's gonna go far. I feel like Cody had more pressure. I mean, he too. played Shane. He beat Shane. Yeah, and Cody was like a literal, like pretty much a nobody. Yeah. Like I know you know that he was full for DGK just because I know he he's like good friends with Timmy. He ripped him super yeah. hard before a lot of things yeah. happened. I wonder what happened with that. <laughs> So who who takes it if Diego and Peacock play each other? You say Diego. Oh dude, my Peacock God. is – oh, man. Dude, I don't know, man. These primitive dudes are no fucking joke. <laughs> I don't know. If joke, Peacock man, doesn't, that's why they're the a, best skateboard team out right now. <laughs> and you're gonna they got those gold boards. Is there, is there a trick that Peacock, like, Peacock couldn't no. do? Like, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he looks that – you know, what I, you know what I really like is when he does a trick and he does two fakey alleys in a row. <laughs> <laughs> no, that does I do it all the time now when we play Hell skate. Hell yeah. I do it all the time. You make, I like what you Mike Mo is like the first the person club. I saw do the shove thing. Every trick Mike Mo lands will do like some variation. I love Mike Mo, man. I miss Mike Mo so fucking much. Like fat front side flip, fake shove it. <laughs> it's just the baker thing. The Baker team came out with a minute of footage on the barracks, and I, I was confused. I thought that one of their writers, I think his name is Dylan. I forgot his last name. Dylan looked like he looked – I thought it was Tommy Sandoval. I was like, they, the barracks fucked up. They put some Tommy Sandoval and a Baker in it. Did they really? No, I thought they did. Oh. No. What's, the, what's that dude's name? He's a new Jack, right? I don't know. <laughs> You didn't watch the Baker Minute? Uh, no, I did. I just don't remember who you're talking about. That looks like Tommy Sandoval. They need to do a primitive one. But anyway, I mean, the footage was so <laughs> Did good. you see the fucking Stephen Lawyer post that Daniel po- that tagged us in? No, wait. What <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. It's him just doing those, like, step-off double hard flip things just, like, three in a row. Oh, let me check it out. Steven oh, the he's drawings, having, dude. That trick's he's so having fun. so much fun, dude. Mike, you should learn. I probably those. could, honestly. It doesn't seem that like, dude. Oh, you just trend. fling. It's so fun. <laughs> That's but anyway. having so much fun, man. Oh, yo, Reynolds Ender in that Baker minute was sick. The half cab heel flip man switch manual. So no. Nolly front heel switch manual, yeah, or Nolly half cab heel, whatever you want to call it. I liked it. That's not That's the, an uncommon that trick, thing's wrong. dude. He, he makes me exactly. want to learn Trey Flip no slides because he has them so good. And his are amazing. Dude, so good. It's crazy. I, I think his are better than Apple Yard. You can quote me on that. 
No. Dude, I'm talking that shit. No. Apple Yard, Apple Yard is the – How old is Red? I think he's 38 or 39. 40 years old, man. He's 45. Grandpa. I believe he's 39 and Ellington is 40. But I could be wrong. But I remember we did this. We did this match before. That's right. We did. We did one time do that. Speaking of Eric Ellington, did you want to watch his his uh, uh his video where he was talking about uh where he his had shoes? A, no, where he had to stop drinking. No. And he got into. Oh, I saw it, but I don't think I watched uh, it. It's good. It's a good watch. He almost went to jail for between five. In 32 years, Jesus. so 10 to 32 years, oh. because he smashed a, a bottle on somebody's face, and he almost he almost went to jail for almost 32 years. He would have been 60 and when he got out. That's why he stopped. And I mean, that was yeah. What, well, is, he what was is his nickname? Name? The Mule. Yeah, the Mule. Uh, name rules. It is the Mule. My name rules. The name is. I guarantee. You. That is the mule, huh? I don't think anybody calls him that. No, no, I just remember that's like <laughs> uh, like old America, like when that yeah. name was being used. Yeah, that's funny. Remember the uh, America Mansion, Drew? Yeah, they had a big ass shower. Them Reynolds, I never forget. You said, "Dude, you don't have to do <laughs> it. You just, it. You just stand there and it clean. You just clean yourself. It just I, cleans." You. I'll never forget that. That was my favorite thing ever when that came. I remember we were, we were young, dude. We were young when that happened. And then, and then Ronald, Reynolds, he, he called out. Was I alive? He called you out were Herb. alive, but you were you – were, I remember being really you young. Probably this is like, Burn, Grant. Yeah, this is MTV Cribs Day, so, I mean, <laughs> you were probably like five years old. That is funny. funny. In, the, in the American Mansion, they had uh, Spanky and Herman, and they go in their room, and then – he was like, look, Reynolds say, look at these fucking kids putting up posters themselves. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys see Chase Webb? I did. I actually just watched it while my computer was fucking up. Dude, I love yeah, he's the so good. I, I the- still, no matter what, when I think of Chase Webb, I'll always think of We Are Blood. I don't know what it is, but I, I his really? clips in We Are Blood were so dude, fucking impressive. Yeah, that video. Dude. Well, I think yeah, it's man. Clip, I think Honestly, that- he probably had my favorite clips in We Are Blood besides the Clint Walker fucking drop in. And the Omar what Salazar, the Omar Salazar he, snake run. Sorry. What was his yeah. Clip? That's my what favorite was, clip. What was his last trick in the video, Grant? It's a king trio and he board slides it and it board slides it. And at the end of the king trio is a ledge and he lands in a board side on the ledge. I really like the 50 50 drop down 50 50 on that skinny ass hand. Right yeah. That was sick. That was terrifying. Terrifying. That thing was like that so terrifying. skinny, man. It's like. Yeah, it's, it's scary. Yeah, Chase Webb is amazing. That How old sick. is he? He looks so young. 20? Okay. He, yeah, he definitely yeah, he nice looks day. young as fuck, know. dude. He also skated that spot in SE that, like, uh, your friend Joel did that wall ride line where I was envious as fuck. Oh, really? Yeah, it's in there. That. He skates, like, a bajillion oh, miles an hour down the fucking thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's gnarly. Yeah, he doesn't have a board sponsor. He's probably He's riding gold that. boards. Nah, he, um... <laughs> Well, he used to get hooked up by Element, and then oh, he bailed. Oh, and then he skates for that's, that's Nigel's homie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's good. Whenever I, think he, I remember he when he more does more. that uh, that fifty fifty on that long ass rail after he does a Smith grind on it, the white rail, it's the longest. Yeah, part. that back to back. Yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. I know exactly. So that I think he was there when he did the the backside two seventy. Down Hollywood High, they just kick from backside lip slide. Yeah, that was, was. That's, that's, that's still like fucking. one of the most fucked up clips in the history of skateboarding, dude. It's like, yeah, right, it's almost is. like up there with like the Ardo Sari El Toro front board for me. Like the little background commentary was so fucking cool to hear. It's kind of just yeah. funny. Like, that's actually a good topic. Like, he just, back, oh, nope. Like, first try, kick from back lip on it. 12, I mean, freaking. 16 stair handrail. It says, hold up. I'm going back up here, guy. Keep it rolling. That is so Man, crazy. As much, as much shit as I've talked on Nyjah, as much shit as I've, you know, it's like I feel like there's no one else I'd rather see skate big rails. Like when I see a big ass rail, I'm like, yeah, really? man. Nyjah's got that. He's got that fucking thing. Like when uh, – that, that is true. Like, oh, 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 wait, this is a good segue. So as you guys – a lot of – at least me, Drew, <laughs> and Mike have seen – 
this insane rail that Jamie Foy grinded oh today that's on God. Instagram, or like some Red Bull little video he had. Okay, that video is at my school, my high school that I currently go to. And my guess how many stairs is that I don't know because I don't think anyone can even count that high because it's huge. It's gigantic. And it's a double set. It's near and then it's flat, flat it's straight then, down. He hits that first kink. Damn. I wish, I really do wish there was a second angle to see the gnarliness of the thing that makes it so gnarly to me is that the kink isn't long. Which my, whatever that might seem weird, but like it's short, so it's so like immediate from like down. Right now? Yeah, yeah. God damn, already. What do you mean already? Like, we talking like for like an hour. No, but about Jamie <laughs> Foy, like I didn't know, I didn't know we were at that topic yet because we didn't talk about the. Well, I'm transitioning because what I was saying was like that rail that stupid, was bro. never. It was never looked that at as like stupid. skatable, like. Friends, that, well, I remember one day, like, I don't even know. It might have been a friend that didn't skate. was like, do you think anyone could ever grind this? And I was like, dude, honestly, like, I don't even think Nigel would jump on this thing. Like, this thing is not, like, and this isn't, like, I legitimately don't think anyone that goes to our school has ever walked past that rail. Everyone's maybe an, oh, maybe, like, I don't even think this person would do it. But, like, I, no one thought that was skatable. And the well, fact said, that Jamie you, Boyd Grant. did that. Yeah, he did. Good for yeah, him. Yeah, for sure. That dude's amazing. Yeah, he should do that more yeah. often because he needs to was... get put on all the way. Yeah, Baker. Co yeah, let's go, Come Baker. Come on, guys. You need to before he bails and gets on someone before else. Before he gets a goddamn that's... gold board. Nike, let me see an ad. Baker, let me see an ad. Like, let's get yeah. it. Going. What, what truck sponsor is he on? Thunder. He knows control. Why do you think he yep, grinded? Knows it? control. He fucked that thing up. <laughs> Anyone else see his fucking kickflip? Yeah. Slammed on the first attempt. The one they oh, showed. The ramp? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. got bodied yeah. on that. But on did that you video. see the fucking oh, kickflip, dude? What the fuck, dude? Who do, who catches that and keeps it moving? That was it the was craziest kickflip I've seen over a fucking like gap like that ever. You know, it was like him or at least his friends, but I think he was involved like with the whole Das Pinch thing. Like that's his That's own. awesome. Like, he, if you always see him with the dad hat, it's usually like the Das Pinch one. They're not, they have their own hats? Is it just yeah, like, what Dash is it, like Pinch this hat. symbol or some shit? It's a dad hat, yeah. It's like little hands. <laughs> That's thing. amazing. I'm back in that. Hey, Lakai. Lakai. A lot of people were saying rumors that Lakai ain't looking too good. They're people filming for a video. Out. Huh? Yeah, those rumors are yeah, out there. Yeah, they're filming for a full you know what? I can confirm right now. That Lakai is not only doing good and they're stable, but they're doing better than they ever have been. Why do you that, say that? You don't that know is that. with the collaboration with Jankum. They are making a shoe <laughs> where you can put a stash of condom in the tongue. They are back, baby. They are ready. <laughs> shoe sales are going off the charts. They are broken. Best top selling shoe ever. Lakai Jankum, put condoms in your shoes. <laughs> They're back, bitch. Yeah, I saw the MJ. Hey, you gotta, you better talk to Converse because they're in trouble. Nike, <laughs> the condom is out. <laughs> <laughs> he psyched on his own show. <laughs> Get off my hat. <laughs> That's the best. They also just announced their collab with Nottis Coppice. Nottis, Nottis is back because of Richie. Richie said here, Nottis. Get back into skateboarding. I'll, I'll, I brought, I brought I'll do, I'll do your spit a thousand times, motherfucker. No, but no thoughts on the condom Dude. shoe. No one, no one, nobody cares, huh? We're just going to have Drew make a joke, laugh it off, and then move on? Drew, <laughs> Drew's the horniest kid I know, man. I what? know. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh! Yeah. All right, moving on. Fuck, oh. fuck my joke. Oh, girl, confirm that real quick. No, no. She... Dude, you know what I was thinking? Is that they need to give Seaball Walker a shoe a They need to give a lot of people. They need to fucking do a lot of things over there, man. <laughs> Dude, I know. You're joking, right? <laughs> get, get off that shit. No, let, let, get, you see get the fuck off my shit. Hey. Get off my show. Open up your hands. Hey, big things. <laughs> big things are coming to me. Yes. Get the, you're fucking up my podcast. No. It's the best gamer podcast in the world. Who on it? In the world. Yeah. Oh, he, he, bailed. he bailed on himself because of how bummed he was. He'll be back. <laughs> um, no, but dude, so many people like if you dude, you remember when Crooked turned Sebo Pro just a couple weeks back, like I mean months back, dude, people were psyched on that. Yeah, as like, they including should. myself. Yeah. Like, 
people love SIBO, dude. Especially, I was at Stoner. We were at Stoner last week. There was a kid with the SIBO Walker Pro model. He had his grip just like SIBO. Like, you know, he cuts it and he puts the crooked eyes. I'm getting that shit. Dude, I was like, I, dude, the crooked eyes is like the best symbol in skating. The, the Stoner kids love SIBO. Like, Lakai, I just don't see, like, if I was working at Lakai, why would you not put a shoe out? I don't know. Maybe, they, maybe they're, they're working, working on it. it. So maybe they're I'm filming. Talking, yeah, maybe I'm saying a bunch yeah, of pointless they're stuff filming right the now. full length there, dude. But, yeah. Confirmed. I hope, I hope Confirmed. Confirmed. He deserves it. He deserves yes. a shoe. He deserves a lot. I spoke to Sibo about that. He says they are filming a full length. He will have a full part. So, I mean, there's your fucking welcome to having a model right there. Uh, Nicholas? No, you're, his board sponsor and shoe sponsor, it doesn't align like that. That's up to the shoe brand, whatever it is. Um, wait, there was something else, I think. I think I have one more topic before we end the show. I think Drew needs to come back, though. Yeah. Oh, hey, Mike, do you see the illegal civilization? Yeah, I watched, yeah, I watched that. Double yeah, rock. dude, that Aramis. So was it Aramis or Aramis Hudson? Yeah. Holy Aramis. shit, Aramis. dude. No, Holy guy. shit. Dude, he's he has like the off. first minute of that just fucking destroying that place. Yeah. Like, he what does he do? Good. Switch? What was he regular or goofy? Hey, he's regular, so switch flip crook 180 out, like did not give it a shit in a line. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that was switch. Damn. That so and dude, good. Olan, Olan was killing it. Yeah, that's. I mean, it, so they're making a board brand out of that. Like that's for sure. So Cavi Club, I know Cavi no, no, Club. No, no, no. All right, I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm familiar with Cavi Club. That's fucking Devon or uh, something. Devonte, Devonte Jolly. Jolly. That's his, his. his yeah, that's his yeah. crew. I think they kind of hinted they made an app. They have a Cavi Club yeah. app, so you can watch all their videos, which is tight. Um, but I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. I do believe they're trying to make at least some T-shirts, but I think it's going to be a whole like clothing yeah. brand. So that's not for sure. I've heard isn't that. that the same little but, squad as the um Berante, fucking? No, it's Barante. Um, just like a whole bunch of all on Devonte. No, what I was going to ask was, isn't that the same fucking crew as um Delhi Status? No, no, no. I know that isn't different. isn't Jolly their filmer too. No, nah, Devonte films for DC. Cool. Didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, I don't know if he ever did. I don't know about the daily status. But what you're saying, Illegal Civilization is now a board brand, yes, but still a crew. Like, that was just their crew name, and now they're making boards. Um, Reynolds actually posted about it. Like, like oh, I don't remember who he posted. Someone from the crew and was like saying how they're a board brand now, which is yeah. – Are you getting a hand job right now? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. He's rocking back and forth. It's very comfortable. <laughs> get, get back up. Back up. Dude, I got to finish the show. Scary. I got to finish the show. Finish so we can finish. We got, we got, That's it. What's up? Talking. What is Becky Factory? Did we talk about that? What the fuck oh, yeah, is a Becky awesome. Factory? Like a factory for white girls or what? Becky, what is it? Eli Reed skates for them now. That's oh, that's confirmed. He He's on Becky Factory. That name is so he's fucking a pro trash. Well, I'm Becky Factory. And our, 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 Dude, but Eli is so good. I'm not, I mean, not, why, why are you saying it's trash? That name is – that's worse than fucking Stove. <laughs> I know. It really is. Jesus. Is Becky Factory? Hey, what board are you rocking? Oh, dude, I'm riding a Becky oh, Factory. Get the fuck out of here. That sounds terrible. Yo, Drew. What? Um, oh, done. According to one of my friends who was flow for them. Uh-huh. Organic yeah. is confirmed done. Yeah, well, like I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now if that's true. I'll yeah, hit right up your now. boy. Nah, but let, let me talk real quick. Um, go ahead, talk. As long as you're talking about New York, you can stay on. Gar <laughs> Watson like told my homie that like okay. start something else and like he can get on it. But he's like pretty close with Carl because he skates with him and like. Carl's gonna start a new brand. Like start something, but he's he like he said that he can come on if he wants. My friend Will, he like skates for Lakai. Uh, Bones. The kid doesn't he live in SF? No, no, no. He lives in oh my Miami. Dang, organic is gone. Not really a big surprise on that at all. I mean, the whole team quit it was or crazy. left or had some sort of situation. They parted ways. They did. Organica stayed here. Miles Silvis, Josh Matthews. Josh Matthews. Everyone else went that way. Josh Matthews is so fucking good, dude. 
Eli Reed. As we is Josh, wait, is one. Josh Matthews in battle at the Bears this year? Wait, no, I think he is. He was, yeah, I, pick I think. I picked Josh Matthews. Dude, Dude he has the best board sides on list. His control is crazy. Yeah, His board control is great. Sick. Nah, what cop- is pick? What size? What? Who? You better watch out if Bobby looks comfortable on the oh my Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. Bobby ain't gonna Ooh. take it. Bobby. <laughs> Grant's so funny, dude. <laughs> watch out the dude. You can say what you want, but that hey, man, it's amazing. You, you see those legs? Back shoes? three knows Manny. They should have put Trevor in. I'll never forget back three knows Manny. Never. Yeah, it is surprising that Trevor's never been in one because he goes to Bears yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah, good point. I never thought about that. Get uh, get Callan James in that motherfucker, dude. Dude, Mafia, sure, I see him dude. all the time. Callan? He's yeah. so fucking good at skateboarding. I see him at parts around here. No, like, I oh, think it's funny that people forget that he has a bad Nicky name. Factory is like trying to copy uh, Quasi. I feel like everyone's trying to copy Quasi. <laughs> yeah. uh, wait, what were we talking Oh, Kellen James. Oh, yeah, he's pro flow for Adidas. Oh. Kellen. Yeah, yep, yep. Match court's hard. Does he? And then Jimmy Cal started skating Adidas. I know, they're they're the, the, they're I the know best shoe brand. Schmatty skating Adidas. I saw in Joey. I don't know. His, well, I mean, he's pro for Skate Mafia, and Adidas has been giving him shoes for a long time, and they're not, like, posting about him or anything. No, me. how do you know he's not buying them? Uh, nah, I think he's posted a box before. He's not buying them. I'm pretty sure he's yeah, posted he's a box posted, before. And he, I see him with a different pair all the time. He's not paying for those. Kellen's the man, dude. Dennis is hooking him up. What do you do? Hey, switch front blunt around that pink launcher. Kellen, switch from blunt. That pink clutch. Yeah, we talk about. You know that, Drew? I did not know. Bro, that. you guys bang. I know Jordan SD had puss asses. Come on, man. Yeah, I know that. I know that Jordan Kramer. He did tail slide and take your bitch asses it. back to fucking La Jolla, I guess. Hey, Dude, that's talking crazy. that good shit now, boy. I guess so. Oh, did you see new skate mafia monthly? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you see where you know, see all those Kramer clips where is that vest? Yeah, on? that vest is sick. That's the day I saw it. Oh, that was sick. the exact day. They were filming because he was getting followed. Like they were cruising. He was trying to get a clip of this three stair outledge. It's famous. It's like OG said it. Like you see Dan- Danny Way skated like in the eighties. Like it's like this three stair red outledge. Okay. And they were there, but it's such a major bust. They said, they and like, said we're fuck down the that street. shit, we mafia, boy. Dude, we're down the street, and we're like, we're going to head over there. We're like, oh, whoa, someone's skating it? Oh, we're getting kicked out ASAP. They're probably getting kicked out right now. We make the turn because we can hear the, someone skating, right? And when we see Wes, and he's just skating away with this, with a filmer following him, I'm like, dang, that's sick. Fucking Wes. And then the video came out. It's like, same outfit. He's in downtown. Straight, straight SD thing. head, man. That was Easter Sunday. Where's he yeah. he so raps Claremont or what? No, nah, he's from somewhere in North County because okay. he grew up skating Carmel Valley. Well, as soon as Carmel Valley was yeah. there. I remember, dude, Drew, remember those clips of West and he's like 14 years old? Oh, man. Do I, so do that, I know? Do I remember? That young, that young West footage. You, you haven't, you haven't seen the San Diego piece. videos, huh? Um, I don't think so. Oh, you're, you're missing out on some legit, legit, legit. Les Famer, <laughs> Tyler Surrey, Marius, Steve McNeil. Where is Marius? Is that Habitat? Yeah, dude, I see it. He kills yeah, it, he's dude. He's so good. Oh, Grant, you haven't seen it either, huh? San Diego videos? No. Oh, you guys. Are they, like, are they like famous down there? Oh, they're they're legendary. They're, they're legendary. legendary. Truman Hooker, too. Truman Hooker! Except not, not a single person you just mentioned still backs that shop. Who? San Diego? I said no, none of the – yeah, no one back Aren't they all like – they fuck with like the slappies? I mean back, back then, everyone no. did. It's super, super like beach girl, like teenage girl mall. Like, hey, you know what? Yeah. The team made – They still have some team made it members, all good. Better than the active team. That team sucks. <laughs> yeah, right, dude. Grass game. Before we go, I, I want to address the, our mean? final topic will be the diamond footwear – the behind the scenes, mm-hmm. and then uh, I just got com- I, I just confirmation Daniel skills. It is not done. Organic what? is still running. Who who'd you talk to? Whoa, those are my sources, my friend. I can't give you. <laughs> I can't give all my reliable sources. Oh, I don't know. 
I know, well, know. I know people that know other people who know people that know me. So um, sick. I don't know. I so guess people. Carl's doing something else besides Andrew him. Days. Don't play that shit. Dude, I somehow missed this. This is the sickest thing. What? <laughs> Look at this. Look what Carlos is tagging in. It's the like, gym thing? You haven't like seen it. that? That's Mickey's post. That shit's no, hilarious. Yeah, I somehow I fucking died. I fucking died. Yeah, the photo of Jim yeah, is so funny too. Uh, before, before, yeah, I'm gonna tweet that right now. That's we close, too good. Did we got? Didn't you guys see the behind the scenes footwear? Uh, behind the scenes diamond footwear. I didn't. Yeah. know. It's sick that we already like heard that shit from Brad I, I agree. himself, and then we got to see it in motion. It was very yeah. cool. You know what's funny is I feel like he explained it better on the show than he did. He, did. In the he absolutely did, no doubt. But that's because we gave him a, uh, an open platform to be like, here, what did you do? As opposed to, let's edit all together. We'll yeah. tell a little bit of commentary, you know? Yeah, I enjoyed it. It, I, it, was, there, it was also... <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut the fuck up, Carlos. <laughs> Stupid bitch. I, got, I took a little nap, so now I'm ready. <laughs> uh, I had a long night. Ew. So, uh, so we had a... We had a... Can you... I'm just kidding. Uh, Anyway, <laughs> there was something. There was something in the in the edit that I noticed that they that none of them that at least it wasn't published in the Instagram video. And that is that they had a, a clip of all three of them skating doing different tricks, where it was Nick Tucker doing a trick over the, over the fire hydrant. Then it was Beeble doing a half cab crooked grind on the table and. Tori Pubble did some other grind. I wish that they did that all in a. These guys on that was guys. really sick. He didn't. He didn't watch it. He's lying. No, I did. <laughs> it, I okay. was in San Francisco. <laughs> I want. I swear. Don't Congrats, you know, Michael that. Medina and Daniel Scales. I am Andrew Ariano. Sorry for being asleep for most of the show, but you know what? We keep it rolling. We always keep it rolling, bitches. You better watch out. After show's about to pop off. The after show's about to pop off. Oh, we got to go. Got to stop. Bye.